Hello everybody, I'm extremely late, I am apologizing for that, and welcome to Fairgax News. For the three of you that still haven't known and care, uh, the World Wakes, the newest Grandmaster Epic Quest of Amazingness, has come out, uh, released today, sometime early today, and I was at work and I didn't notice and stuff. But yeah, I hate Mondays. Uh, hopefully I don't do a lot of updates on Mondays, because I work late on Mondays, and uh, it's harder for me to do videos early, so yeah. Orlando Smith, Orlando Bloom, made a big discovery just west of Legends Guild, uh, ruins dating from the First Age, holy balls, which he believes once belonged to Gothinx himself. Uh, it's the sort, find careers, unprepared, blah 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 stuff and story and whatnot. Uh, make your way past the ruined defenses with strength and cunning. So, combat and puzzles, lovely. Hate one of the two of those. And you'll discover secrets that could shift the world's balance of power forever. The will be a mother of a battle. Uh, before the quest is through, of course, you need a combat level of 140, and your very best combat gear, along with plenty of food, of course. Uh, ultimately, you'll have to make a choice, and uh, your decision will set the scene for events to come and feature in future story content. Uh, one thing is certain, of course, uh, which is interesting, actually. I want to... Uh, say something about that quick. It's kind of nice that they're actually giving a weird, like, choice, almost. Um, that, like, it's going to shape the future content. Are they going to, like, have however many people go one way is going to make it do one thing, or if so many people go the other way, uh, it's going to make the next quest do something else. That kind of seems weird to me. Um, I can understand if, like, like for example, if, like, you had the choice at the end of the quest to kill Orlando or not. I'm not saying that's what it is, and I know people have already done it, and that's probably not what it is, but let's say that was the choice, and 80% of people killed Orlando because he was a baby kicker, and 20% of them didn't kill Orlando. Now, if they go on that logic and release it, like, what I think they're saying there, really, um... Those 20% are going to be like, the fuck just happened? I didn't kill Orlando. Uh, because the next quest will be for that 80%. So it'll start off with Orlando dead instead of Orlando alive. Now, it'd be kind of cool if the next quest that they release with this, because of your choices, did something else. So if you were the 20% that didn't kill Orlando, Orlando still existed, and you ended in this next quest with him, and if you were the 80% and killed him, then it was something completely different because he was dead. Um... Well, what it sounds like there is that it's like, if the 80% kill Orlando, then it's good. the next quest is going to be revolved around Orlando being killed. and Or it's just going to be like, oh yeah, Orlando's dead now, so you have to have another protagonist. That's what it sounds like to me. That's not what it's probably going to be, but it's just me being a critical bastard. Um, so yeah. Anyway, one thing is certain, though. Once you're through, you'll become a, <laughs> become a whole new breed of hero. And the Wilkham world will need you more than ever. Ooh. Shit. That sounds pretty badass. Um, anyway, so completing the quest will earn you over 800,000 XP in lamps in a variety of skills with the minimum levels ranging from 65 to 80. That's a lot of XP. And 65 for 800,000 is pretty uh, low, actually. Five new ultimate combat abilities usable in level 85. Uh, usable at le level 85 in their related skills, which is interesting. I don't really like abilities. And cosmetic torso gear, of course. In addition, uh, there's a trove of post-quest rewards, including a powerful ring, a title, and new slayer targets, which is all they ever seem to do. A powerful something, some sort of title that you can get, and new slayer shit that can drop level 85 gloves. And a pet, of course, that can be claimed once you finish the quest and met certain high-level requirements listed uh, here. And those requirements, if you are wondering, um, are actually loaded are uh, noted below, and I will uh, let you know of what they are. Uh, there's also a please note, as of next week's update, all future game content will work on the premise that this quest happened in the past. So, if you want to play the quest with no spoilers, we recommend doing so this week. That's kind of dumb. It's also worth noting that the quest is not voice acted. Who cares? Number of characters in the world wakes is huge, roughly 30 in total, with many character included, characters included in other quests. The resources needed to voice the entire quest were instead spent on including greater rewards, better combat experiences, and etc. We hope it shows in your play experience. I don't really care about that, because RuneScape was never to me about voices, and I don't really like voices in RuneScape. It sounds kind of strange. With the exception of that... Um, uh, the first quest they did with near the Desert Worms. I forget what it's called, but that, that was really good. Uh, that said, we still recommend you play with the audio on, of course. Blah, blah, blah. Orange of Gel Gelinor Motion Comic are listed 
world breaks, blah, 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 songs, impressive, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so basically they're just like, yeah, we couldn't have to do this, so we did this instead. That voice thing is fine, that's great. So long as you focused on gameplay, that's fine. Um, but I don't like the as of next week's updates, all future game content uh, will work on the premise that this quest happened in the past. So if you want to play the quest with no spoilers, so basically they're going to be like updating shit uh, so that the, it, it gets spoiled. That's kind of lame for people that can't do it. Like, <clears throat> I let's say I have, I don't know, 110 combat and I wanted to do this quest. And I was like, oh yeah, really interested in the story, guys. Uh, oh no, but if you don't do it this week, so you have to get 30 combat levels this week, uh, then sucks for you, bro, because it's probably going to be spoiled for you. That's kind of lame. I don't like that. Um, how to start it, you speak to Orlando Smith, Orlando Broom, Bloom, at the excavation site west of the Legends Guild. Requirements is 140 combat and membership, of course. Uh, there are additional post-reward stuff uh, that will also be listed, that are, <coughs> that are currently listed below. Please note, these can be met and their rewards claimed at any time following the completion. You will not miss anything if you don't meet these requirements when you complete the quest uh, at uh, the current time. So the requirements for this extra stuff is... Quests, Branches of Darkmere, The Chosen Commander, Firemaker's Curse, Ritual of the Majorat, and The Void Stares Back. <clears throat> All of those are really hard quests, by the way. 90 Prayer, holy shit. Uh, 74 Firemaking, and 70 Slayer. Keep in mind, even on my good account, I don't have any of that. Not any of that, but I don't have all of that. It's crazy. Jesus. But, uh, yeah. So, in other news, the latest batch of EOC shit is there, blah blah blah. Whatever. Dual wielding has been brought onto the level of two-handed weaponry and raw damage. Mages can now auto-cast shit in each hand. They've also made changes to the way that player-owned ports armor degrade, bringing, uh, <clears throat> bringing it in line with next armor. Yeah, okay, whatever, read the details there. It's been a, there's next armor? Um, <laughs> I don't know this. There's uh, been a big change to the free game today where they've opened up Birthrope and Taverly to free players. Uh, wow. As well as the first five levels of most member skills as a replacement of our existing free trial. It's actually kind of better, to be honest. Click here for further details. They've made some changes on the way run energy works so everyone can run for longer and recover their energy more quickly. Uh, Sol which, it was already quick anyway. Solomon General Store is offering stuff. All new God Robe and Teleports. Tailor made for the followers of Gothic Serodom and Zero. That's kind of stupid. They're selling teleports and shit now, and new God Robes. That's really lame. There's a new World Bakes Melody available for your listening pleasure on their SoundCloud page. They have a SoundCloud page? Jesus. Everybody has one of those now. Uh, I should make one. Anyway, along with today's changes to the free game, there have been some tweaks to the naming conventions for ranged and magic style specific potions. Existing potions of this type are now preferred uh, prefixed with super, so what they were previously called a ranging potion is now a super ranging potion. New low-level potions have been implemented for the 1 to 5 herbalore range, and these have been adopted the non-prefix name example example ranging potions so these really crappy potions are now normal potions and what we would consider normal potions are now super weird um you may uh, now pay your weekly anagrok uh, whatever or uh orts for clan avatar buffs at your citadel quartermaster haiti and skull have been removed yippee there have been a batch of usability improvements made to the customization interface um, they're listed there, but I'm really too lazy to read them out. And support for software mode has been removed in pre preparation for future updates. That's really interesting that, uh, they're going to remove software, considering RuneScape is one of the few games that you can actually play with, uh, a really, really, really shitty computer. So, uh, that's kind of odd, actually. <laughs> Although I'm not all that sad, I don't really care that much. I'm playing, technically playing in software on 07 Scape, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, sorry I'm late with this update. I'll try to be quicker with others. Hopefully they release it on a Tuesday when I'm actually home. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, guys, honestly, my personal opinion, it kind of looks kind of lame. The story could be good because they focused on it, and uh, hopefully it is, but I think that uh, them spoiling it after the first week is kind of stupid. I don't like that at all. I don't think they should spoil anything. I think it's kind of dumb, um, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I guess they can do whatever they want. Also, the requirements are just ridiculous for the post stuff. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let me know how you, uh, th what you think of the quest, uh, especially if you've done it. Um, and feel free to spoil it, because I'm never going to do it. So, <laughs> thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Peace.